How's it going guys? We are back on the video here and this video is going to be ranking the first three weeks of the Stanley Cup MSP. So the first 12, uh, there'll be round four MSPs. This won't be until two weeks from now basically because we just got the cards for round three, right? So make sure you guys leave a like, subscribe if you're not already. Let's hop into the video right now. Yeah, I actually haven't done any rankings in a while and I know people do, do like those videos. So I mean, you know what? I got to do it. Number 12, Philip Grubauer. So for me, always goalies is a tough one. I really just don't, I don't like putting goalies too high, but especially when they're six foot one. Honestly, if there were, if there was a goalie here that was like probably six four or above, honestly, they'd probably be like at least 10 or nine. But you know, unfortunately, that's where we have to be. Philip Grubauer at six one, 188, left-handed goaltender. He's got checking boost, playmaking boost, shooting boost, along with defensive boost, agile angle boost, accelerator boost, and speed boost. His ability is a post to post butterfly effect, x ray, showstopper, and goal light work are actually not too bad. That's the, the positive with this goalie. I mean, honestly, the abilities are not too shabby here at all. Um, good, good stats, glove high and stick high are 99, but for me, 6 1 goalies, I'm just simply out on. I hate to say it, but I'm simply out on goalies that are 6 1 uh, and below, no doubt. One of the newest ones from the week three, the round three. Uh, Stanley Cup event Cam Ward, so he's just a little bit better uh, in my opinion very similar though like abilities wise as well uh, But 6-1-194 uh, It's it, it's all really what you like right? I mean because there's different stats that are 99 for Cam Ward than Grubauer uh, His abilities are quite similar though. He's got showstopper butterfly effect no timer post to post and finally Goal light work. I mean they both have gold light work. So it's not like a huge difference in these cards at all really uh, you could really pick your poison. I mean, I I would probably not make either of these goalies I, I would probably tend to just go towards, you know, any any goalie besides these really when it comes to like size I mean as long as they're in the the 90 overall range at this point of the year I'd say but he's got good stats if you're a big hurricanes fan big cam ward fan I mean, why not you can go ahead and make him but let's move on to number 10 now We got devil's legend Doug Gilmore Doug Gilmore at 510 175 my thing I always like to say though is if you're going to be under six foot at this point in the year, you're going to have to be pretty much 99 speed for me to be like really considering you because there's so many cards that have 99 speed now, cards that have 99 speed with size as well. So it's definitely not easy to, to be like, oh yeah, Doug Gilmore for sure. That's a guy I want. His synergies are sniper forward, two way forward, playmaking forward, along with checking boost, agile dangler boost, shooting boost, and defensive boost. Uh, I mean, again, good, good card. I mean, it's just not, you know, up, up there with some of the other cards from this week. I mean, from, from this whole event, I should say. Tape the tape, close quarters, beauty backhand, boring leader, and gold shrug it off. I mean, it's, it's solid. I mean, it is. It's solid, but it's not, it's not really a, a card that you're like screaming and, and pounding the table over. You're not really looking for it that much. I mean, unless you're a big Lee's fan, that's obviously a big reason why you probably make this card. He has 99 face-offs. That's quite good. But what center doesn't have 99 face-offs at this point? Nine is Martin St. Louis, so I know right away you're going to say, Henry, he has 99 speed. How's this guy rank number nine? Well, listen, I know size is not everything, but 5'8 is pretty tough at this point in the year, and the reason why I say that is because there's so many big defensemen that have great speed that can easily, easily bump St. Louis off with how good hitting is in NHL 24. I mean, let's be honest, he will be getting crushed out there. I hate to say it, he really will be, uh, but it could be a fun card if you're someone that likes to use smaller wingers and smaller players in general in the hut. But for the most part, I think the St. Louis is going to have a lot of trouble. He has wheels, shrug it off, elite edges. You're going to need unstoppable force active on him, no doubt. And he has gold snipe. So, I mean, that's that's a good ability at least, I guess. But, I mean, elite edges and and, and uh, unstoppable force are kind of, to me, must, I'd say, on this card. I really don't like wheels as much anymore. But, I mean, it's not a horrible card, but it's just a size part that's going to really make it tough for this card to be really great. Number is Matthew Gachuk, and this card is, I guess, better than his team of the year in theory, but my issue with Matthew Gachuk's MSP is it's just more so, you know, he has a team of the year, right? So that kind of makes it not as exciting, but as a card, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. I mean, I know you could put him a little bit higher maybe, but uh, he's a solid player. He's got power forward, sniper forward, two-way forward, along with defensive boost, checking boost, playmaking boost, and the shooting boost synergy there. Uh, nice X speed and excel. I mean, it's solid. Uh, I, I think his team of the year is 95 speed. I could be wrong. So I think this card is a little bit better. Uh, but yeah, shots maxed out with uh, shooting boost as well. So you could use a different synergy there if you want. Crease Crasher, Off the Rush, Unsolvable Force, Truculence, and Gold Total Eclipse are his abilities here. 
as I mentioned, to me, Unstoppable Force is a must on most of these cards, really. Uh, but I think Unstoppable Force is probably the only one I'd really activate on him, if I'm being honest. I don't really like the other options that he has. But for me, Matthew Chuck is number eight. Then we got Kyle Connor. He's another one, 6'2", 179. Uh, honestly, you could really go back and forth between Kachuk and him. Uh, I, just, I just personally like Connor's abilities a little bit more than Kachuk. Uh, they're very similar, though. Uh, but, yeah, very, very similar. I mean, his shots already maxed out, though, so that, that gives you a different option for synergies, which is nice. But checking boost, playmaking boost, agility angle boost, shooting boost, playmaking boost, two-way forward, and the sniper forward synergy. Like, so, like I said, you could use... A uh, bunch of different synergies here. You could use two-way forward or playmaking forward. You could use checking boost, like, because the shot's already maxed out, right? So the shooting boost and the sniper forward are kind of not important synergies to activate on uh, on Connor. So uh, I like Connor. I mean, he's a good card. Uh, he a little bit weighs a little bit less than Kachuk, but I always feel like Connor plays better in game than Kachuk anyway. Like, just I feel like using Kachuk, I don't like how he feels in game, even if he is faster. That's just how I felt since NHL 22 about him. But Kyle Connor is quite quite a good card starts getting tough because honestly these these cards and this group of players to me are very close jay bowmeister is absolutely awesome he's 6'4 206 left-handed d-man all right he's got offensive defenseman defensive defenseman and two-way defenseman speed boost defensive boost accelerator boost and playmaking boost so he can get up to 97 speed that is absolutely tremendous on this bowmeister card uh, he's got elite edges tape the tape Seeing eye, quick pick, and gold shutdown. I would just toss on gold shutdown. I think that'd be enough, really, for this card. Uh, he he's awesome. Bowmeister Bo Mister plays well in game. He always has, really, in Hut history. Honestly, going back to when I first started playing in NHL 14. But uh, he's an awesome card. Uh, one of the best left-handed defensemen out right now, no doubt about it. Uh, he's got all the stats you kind of want to see on a card here. And for me, he is number six. But I think you could definitely justify him being a little bit higher as well. I know people are probably going to say right away, Henry, Bo Meester is faster. Well, it's not always about speed. It's not always about size either. But for me, Brent Burns, 6'5", <laughs> 230. I mean, that's that's pretty good. That's pretty good. He's got offensive defenseman, two-way defenseman, and defensive defenseman there, uh, along with shooting boost, defensive boost, checking boost, and accelerator boost. So, I mean, if you could really activate accelerator boost, that'd be nice. Give him 97 excel. But uh, he's got 1T, elite edges, tape the tape, truculence, and gold heat seeker so his abilities are not amazing but uh, definitely slam on elite edges i think uh, along with uh probably truck you to be fine definitely want to activate defensive defenseman that help out his body checking you want to try to get that to close to max really i would say is a is a good one or even checking boost if you could activate that whatever can help him get his max out body checking but brent burns awesome card i always love using brent burns and hut number four we got keith primo i believe i did rank the uh week one stanley cup cards and i think i put primo actually um ahead of leon so people, people are gonna probably say right away henry can you change your rankings well yes i actually did uh just thinking about it logically here and just more thoroughly i decided to put primo here at number four so he's 6'5, 220 so I, I totally understand it you know obviously he is bigger right uh this is just my opinion right so i, I know people are gonna say oh well, then you ranked you ranked bowmeister though worse than burns and burns is is slower like i i get it i i understand what you guys are gonna say but this is my my opinion though on, on these cards cyber forward two-way forward power forward defensive boost checking boost playmaking boost and shooting boost 95 speed and 95 excel is awesome snipe big rig close quarters elite edges and goal born leader honestly i wish he had unsolvable force that's that's another thing that's kind of holding me back with this card he does have 99 face offs if you do decide to activate the two-way forward synergy uh, or defensive boost synergy so whatever you want but uh, Boyle Lee is quite good on him, though. That is another huge positive on Primo. But uh, for me, Keith Primo is at number four. Three time, we got Leon Drysaddle at 6'2", 208. So he's got 95 face-offs there. Uh, you could definitely get his uh, face-offs close to max, if not max there. I think two-way forward is a plus four. I could be wrong. But playmaking forward, two-way forward, sniper forward, playmaking boost, accelerator boost, shooting boost, and speed boost. So he does get up to 96 speed Drysaddle as well. Uh, but I love his abilities, though. He's got one T, tape the tape, puck on a string, make it snappy, I like. But most importantly, gold ensemble force. That is so crucial. Uh, and I think that really goes a long way on making him that much better than Primo, honestly. I really like ensemble force a lot. I think it's really good. So for me, number three is Leon. Number two is Brian Leach. You know, Brian Leach, he's gotten 400 cards, but this one is truly his best one yet. I'm sure he'll get another one by the end of the year, but 6'1", 190, left-handed D-man here. He's got offensive defenseman, two-way defenseman, and defensive defenseman here. Uh, he's got speed boost, agility angler boost, accelerator boost, and shooting boost. So yes, in 
fact, he has 99 speed with speed boost. So, I mean, an amazing car when it comes to stats here, especially he's got elite edges, wheels, tape the tape, shutdown, and gold heat seeker. Honestly, I'd probably only activate shutdown and elite edges. I think that's really the main abilities you probably should go after. When it comes to Brian Leach here, his botching is only a 90, so I understand why you'd be a little bit nervous about that. But honestly, at this point in the year, I think he can get a, he probably can get away with it without how fast he is, really. And his pro checking will be phenomenal, too, as well. So for me, Brian Leach is number two, and that can only leave one man. At least is Yaramir Yager, guys. Six foot three, 254 pounds. I think by far he is still the best one. I don't think you really argue this one. I think Yager is definitely the best one. Uh, he's got playmaking forward, power forward, sniper forward, speed boost, agile angler boost, accelerator boost, and checking boost. He's awesome, Yager. He really, really is. I've, I've loved this card. I actually use him a lot for my, my Devils team, but he's got elite edges, puck on a string, tape the tape, make it snappy, and the best of all, gold unstoppable force. So he has sick abilities. He's got 98 speed with synergies. Max shot. I mean, this Yager card is pretty much like a 98 overall, at least. I mean, he, all the stats are amazing. There's really not much negative about this card at all. I really can't find it. I mean, let me know if you guys can, because I can't. Uh, to me, those are the rankings that I have for the first 12. I will do a final rankings video in two weeks, uh, for ranking all 16, and they eventually have all of them out. My 12 right now are 12 is Grubauer, Cam Ward at 11, Doug Gilmore at 10, St. Louis at 9, Matthew Kachuk at 8, Kyle Connor at 7. We got Jay Bo Meester at 6, Brent Burns at 5, Keith Primo at 4, Leon Dreisaitl at 3, Leech at 2, and number 1 is Yarmir Yager. Alright guys, thanks so much for watching this video. Hopefully you did enjoy it. Please make sure you leave a like, subscribe if you have not already, and follow me on Twitch, Henrik. I'm live there every single day. Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, and you get 3 E's. And be sure to join my Discord talk to me, follow and subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next video.